A lot of times when we think about a breach into an environment, it's really that adversary's first foray, their first footprint that they establish within the target environment. Adversaries might have preferences on how they like to compromise an environment, but once they get in, they need to move around, they need to find the information, they need to find the other resources that they're going to take advantage of for whatever their end game might be. So if the initial access is through something like spear phishing or compromised credentials, once the attacker gets in, they're probably not already on the system that they want to eventually get to. So they need to move internally in order to discover and then eventually access those other resources. And if you think about this in terms of a, a network diagram or just a, a general diagram of the organization, once they gain that foothold, then they're moving horizontally, essentially. Lateral movement's also known as east-west movement in some circles for the, the same reason. So what they'll do is they'll try to pivot from the machine that they're on to something else. And that something else could be, you know, an IT administrator's computer. It could be a server in the environment. It really is entirely dependent on, on whatever they're trying to accomplish. So, you know, it it's kind of similar, like in the cloud and SaaS space, it's kind of similar to like compromising an identity and then trying to compromise another identity that has better privileges or access to, to more and more interesting data than that initial machine or identity that you were on. And there's really no shortage of ways that you can go about doing this. There's a lot of native tools that, that adversaries will use um, and sort of native communication protocols that you can use to move between one or another endpoint or move from an endpoint to a server on a, on a compromised system. 